Hey YouTube, 85cc Master here. This is going to be a video on changing the thermostat and its location on a Bobcat T190. My serial number is 51931167. This model is the model that has the coolant reservoir down in this cavity right here. It's not over here. And it actually matters. So what I mean by that, by that, here's my Bobcat manual. So the earlier models, like mine, as you can see, here's the radiator right there. And that's where the coolant reservoir is right there. The later models, the radiator's right here. And on the side is the coolant reservoir for later models. Okay, so for the earlier models, like mine, the engine coolant is uh, drained from right underneath the oil filter. Here's the cap I already took off of it. And it is right there. And it's still dripping out right there. The later models is drained. It's got a little pet cock that you twist. There's the old filter, fuel filter. Later models, that's where that is. Turn it right there. To drain the engine coolant, the valve. Okay. So the thermostat location, if you look, uh, there's this filter right here, this pulley right here, on this elbow is where the thermostat is. Get your half inch or 13 millimeter, take those two bolts out, there and there, pull this elbow off, then you'll pull this right here off, you'll pull that off. There's a gasket right here and a gasket down there. The thermostat is inside here. And all you'll do is pull the gasket off. Out comes the thermostat because the gasket holds the thermostat down in this recessed area of this chunk of aluminum right here. And then you clean both surfaces, top and bottom, on this chunk of aluminum. Put your new gasket on the bottom. Put your new gasket on top. Um, first put the thermostat down in this recessed area of this chunk of aluminum. Then put the gasket down. I put a little um, high temp gasket silicone on the top and bottom of the gaskets. Put this back on. Put this back on. Put the bolts in, lined it up, torqued them down. Um, back here is a hose. I still had not put it on yet, but you're going to have to take that hose off. It's got a little clamp right there. And that goes on to this elbow right there. That's on the back end of this aluminum piece, the housing for the thermostat. And then uh, you put your... your um, Put that little rubber cap back on, tighten it down, fill the radiator up, which is right there. I got the cap off. I use a um, funnel with a uh, um, small radiator hose. I stick it on the end of the funnel, hold the funnel up in the air like this, and put the coolant in. And that's how I fill my radiator. Make sure the level in your reservoir is good. And if you put silicone on it, let it dry some before you put the coolant in it. And that's that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is 85cc Master. You have a good one. 